Shift our focus to the national capital as uh, Sonia Gandhi has now reached the Enforcement Directorate office. So any minute now, the interrogation will begin. But yes, Sonia Gandhi has now reached the ED office amidst all of this chaos that is being witnessed on the streets of the national capital. Senior Congress leader Sonia Gandhi, interim president, has now reached the Enforcement Directorate office. Now, a certain line of questioning that is expected, of course, on the lines of how, uh, under which circumstances, rather, did uh, she become Young India's director? Why AGL's 90 crore rupees plus were written off just for 50 lakh rupees after Young India was incorporated. Further, another question that could be posed to her is perhaps why a Kolkata firm extended unsecured loans of 1 crore rupees to Young India and so on and so forth. So that seems to be the line of questioning as Sonia Gandhi has now reached the Enforcement Directorate official source-based information coming in on how a woman official is likely to question her. Now how long will the questioning go on for remains to be seen. 12 p.m. 12.08 is when she has reached the Enforcement Directorate office. Any minute now, her interrogation will begin as we see chaos erupt in the national capital and several parts of the country where Congress is now staging a pan-India protest, what they call a Satyagraha movement, uh, against the alleged misuse of central agencies. Bhavtosh also continues to be with us here on this broadcast. She's reached the Enforcement Directorate office. Bhavtosh, we're focusing on the interrogation amidst all of this chaos and how so much ruckus is be being created on the streets of the national capital. What's going on there? Well, beyond the politics, uh, important development has taken place. Uh, Mrs. Gandhi uh, has reached uh, the Enforcement Directorate and uh, she will be questioned for the first time in uh, in the National Herald uh, case. Uh, earlier a month back, uh, Rahul Gandhi was questioned for five days continuously. Uh, though Congress claimed that he was questioned for over 50 hours, uh, the Enforcement Directorate maintains that uh, he was questioned for uh, just 15 hours and around 100 questions were asked from him. The entire case revolves around the Young India, the manner in which Young India had taken over the assets of Associate General's Private Limited. The assets are a whopping 2,000 crore rupees uh, spread across the country and they have said the manner in which uh, the loan of uh, Associate General worth 90 crores uh, was written off for just a paltry 50 lakh rupees is something that requires further investigation. The Enforcement Directorate has said that uh, they have registered a case under money laundering after the Metropolitan Magistrate in Delhi court had uh, filed a criminal uh, complaint under various sections of 5PC including 403 which is uh of a theft of a, of a prime property and also 406 which is criminal uh, breach of trust and 120B uh, which is criminal conspiracy and they have said that at no point of time uh, Gandhis have got any kind of relief from a judicial forum. More importantly uh, Christine they have also said that the da uh, Delhi High Court has not given any relief and uh, they have also said that in March this year the ITAT which is Income Tax Appellate Tribunal had, uh, had in fact uh, discharged or they have uh, rejected the final appeal of Gandhi's and a 570 page order was given by the ITAT. The entire investigation started way back in 2015 when Rahul Gandhi's income tax returns were uh, investigated by the income tax department. Rahul Gandhi for year 2011-2012 has said that income, his income was only 68 lakh rupees whereas the uh, income tax department said that if you look into the fact that you are director of Young India, his income is actually 350 crore rupees. Young India also had a direct uh, which was Mrs. Sonia Gandhi. This fact was hidden by both Congress party as well as by the Gandhis themselves. Uh, they went to the High Court, they also went to the Supreme Court and no point of time any kind of relief was given and that is the reason why the Enforcement Directorate started probing this case. For strange reason, uh, the Congress never uh, raised any kind of uh, protest when uh, Pawan Bansal as well as Malkarjun Kharge were investigated by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, Pawan Bansal was questioned twice by the Enforcement Directorate. Malkarjun Kharge was investigated for nine asked by the Enforcement Directorate here at the Enforcement Directorate office itself. But it was uh, in June itself when the DOTEX uh, directors uh, Sunil Bhandari and uh, Sunil uh, Sangaria were questioned by the Enforcement Directorate that the case uh, completely uh, turned around. Both of them had said that they had given a loan of around 50 lakh rupees to Young India. Uh, these two companies uh, were, in fact, uh, they were directors of 50 companies. The loan of 50 lakh rupees 
clearly showed that a shell co company had given this huge amount of loan, and the enforcement directorate have said that Sonia Gandhi's request uh, has been accepted. Uh, Priyanka Gandhi will be uh, in the building. Uh, she will, uh, she, because the very fact that she gives medicine to Priyanka Gandhi, she will be here. All the staff of enforcement directorate who will question uh, Sonia Gandhi have gone uh, have gone through a COVID test. All right, so lots lined up uh, as far as the Congress protests go. And yes, the interrogation is all set to begin as Bhavtosh also continues to stay on with us. Now, Bhavtosh, any minute now we're expecting the questioning of Sonia Gandhi to begin. Rahul Gandhi has been previously questioned on five days regarding this very case. Uh, now, Sonia Gandhi, of course, after that appearing in front of the enforcement directorate officials for the first time. But what we see on our screens and the kind of dramatic visuals that are coming, coming in from across the national capital certainly continue to be a case of uh, concern. Let